Yo, welcome back to another episode. It's your boy Dre Samp, and this is Raw Thoughts, the only show on YouTube that no one watches. I literally just finished meditating, so I'm kind of so. I want to start working on eliminating filler words, like kind of, uh, um, like I saw this from another video, King Mentality on YouTube. He's also a dating coach and he's on TikTok. And he was one of the people that I was following when I started my channel, looking up to, and now I'm looking down to him because I've surpassed him. He's focusing only on men though. But he says, a way to become more confident, more assertive, more self-assured is to eliminate filler words, to choose your words with more poise. Tom Torero said something similar to this, or he also said when someone says something to you, instead of reacting and responding right away, especially women, you take a beat. You internalize it, and then you respond. This is going to show a strong frame, unreactive, unfazed, cool, calm, collected, mysterious. I've been telling people to know fap, that reach out. I've been telling kids to meditate. I've been telling people to exercise and You tell that to enough people because you know it's the right answer and then you start having, you have to follow that advice yourself. I'm drinking water right now, not coffee. I like doing coffee with these things, but I didn't feel the need for coffee this morning, so I don't want to drink it. Also, I think I might be going on a run right after this. I read a chapter of The Rational Mail. I'm rereading it. I read it a couple of years ago and some things I internalized, some things I forgot, but it's all just a good reminder. We're mid-June right now. I'll be honest, one of the reasons why I'm also mellow is I got canceled on yesterday, or not cancelled, uh, just ghosted, really, by Jen, I don't even know why I'm fucking with this dumb Mexican bitch, I'm reading Rational Mail, and that was one of the reasons why I called out Ashley, that bitch, I called her out, being a bitch, playing games, she didn't like that, she blocked me, that's fine, it was a waste of my time, I'm reading Rational Mail, I'm getting into this, like, stop wasting my time and energy on other people. Start making myself first. Start developing myself more. And so I hit up Jin just to, because we left it off last time as maybe we could hang out and smoke sometime. And I was just like, yo, tonight? She's like, yeah. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm free after eight. Is that cool? I'm like, yeah, that's dope. Uh, bring some weed and, uh, you know, your switch and didn't hear a response and she just never showed up never messaged me back so that bitch is done uh yep done a and i'm also i'm done with chicago I'm tired of it this has been a bad year in some respects been a great year in other aspects you need the lows to appreciate the highs. Definitely went through some bouts of depression, fear and anxiety. But I'm thankful for that because it made me realize that the trajectory of my life and where I'm going, something needs to change. I actually went on a run yesterday to boost testosterone, get fit. It's interesting because I didn't I need to stop doing things for other people and start doing them for myself. It's the same thing as working out, to look good for girls, to get girls. Mm -mm. You gotta wor work out 
to develop you. And if girls come, you know, that's a nice byproduct. You know, that's another filler word. I could have said, if girls come, that's a nice byproduct. But I said, if girls come, you know, that's a nice byproduct. So let's work on... I was disappointed, I was surprised because she literally responded as soon as I sent the text that she was down and then ghost. So, you know, cut her off. In my loneliness, I did download Hinge and just message some bitches. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of tired, kinda. There's another one. I'm tired, right? Just say what you mean to say. On my run yesterday, I uh, was coming back down Thomas and I bumped into uh, a guy. Look, look, uh, 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 uh. You see how we do that? See how we try to fill the space? Let's be more cognizant of that, Andre. Came across this gentleman who likes to drink out in his porch, we, or his deck, no, it was his stairs. We talk from time to time, we talked about Oh, good to see you again, pleasantries, blah, 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 dog, you know, old-fashioned, blah, 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 blah. But then, you know, I started telling him, because once I start doing, once I have something in my mind, I like to tell people about it, because I feel like that also forces me to commit and follow through. It's the same thing with when I got a dog, when I got a chain, or when I'm going to start comedy or get a bass, I just start telling people that I'm going to do it, and it, and it, and it helps to actually follow through, execute. Actually is another filler word. You don't have to say it. It helps to follow through. It helps to actually follow through. Interesting. I need to be more aware of this. Choose my words with more tact and consideration. This is advanced level stuff. If you're not used to talking and communicating or conversating, say whatever you want. This is high level. But I started telling him about how I wasn't happy with my job and how I was going to quit and travel, start a business. We got to talk and I asked him how he started his business, you know, how they found their passions in life. And, you know, it was an interesting conversation. There's, you know, again, it was an interesting conversation. It was unique. I appreciated being able to bounce ideas off of someone older with more life experience that who weren't my parents. But the general consensus that they were saying was, you know, you know, again, there it is. They said, well, you don't necessarily have to quit. You could go on furlough. You could take part time. You know, consider. There's you know again. Consider. Health care and benefits and access to your 401k, not having to start that. Restart it at another company. Yeah, you guys make great points. You guys make great points. And at one point. He said, he was 55. And after I left, I had to, I had to think about what was the disconnect here. I'm 26, he's double my age. Every single moment of my life, he's lived two of those. And we're at a different point in our lives. It's similar to stocks. When you're 55, 
you want consistent income, you, you want to be invested in, in bonds, you don't play with your money because you've already accumulated enough money that you can live off the interest, hopefully. There's no need to risk it. You don't want to risk it at that point because you have nothing to fall back on. It's not enough time to recoup your losses. And there is no reason to risk it, especially when you've worked that hard to get to that point. Likewise, conversely, at 26, that is the time that you should be taking the most risks in your life. 55 year old will always tell you to play it safe because that's where they are in their life. They can't take risks. They don't have the youth. They had 25 years to take risks. Now they're coasting, they're slowing down, they're enjoying the fruits of their labor. So they'll tell you, they'll always tell you, yeah, be smart, invest. Not too much though. You know, you want to have a nice little piggy bank when you, when you retire and live the good old years. And I realized that while they were giving such great advice, it was great advice for someone at their point in their life. Play it safe. Be comfortable. Don't quit just yet. Think about everything. I'm 26 going on 27. Now is the perfect time to take risks. Now is the time to take risks, especially in your 20s. You could be dead broke at 30. No job, no prospects, no girl living in your parents' basement. And you could easily become a millionaire. So now is the time to take risks. And now is not the time to listen to 55 year olds that have forgotten what it means to truly live in their 20s. To have their whole future ahead of them. Interesting talk today, chat. I feel different. The meditation, I, I feel like I'm getting more effective with my meditation. I started a YouTube channel, like I said I was going to, so yesterday, 22 subscribers. I get a lot of traction when I go live. But basically, if I ask them to go live, because the live fans are the OG fans, they really love me. So I said, hey guys, could you subscribe please? And like 20 of them subscribed, so like 20. Filler words. So I was surprised with Jin, but it's almost like if like a, you know, a final nail in the coffin to help me get over her, forget about her. Now going into quarantine where I don't know where we are in quarantine. I don't know anything about the travel restrictions, but I do know <laughs> Yeah, those fifty five year olds. Play it safe, you know. Or take six months, take a six month sabbatical or furlough, then come back refreshed. You know, you don't want to throw it all away. So what these people don't understand is that I have no interest in playing the game how they played it. They are just giving the best advice that they can. And that's why I do appreciate it. For the next two months, my only goal will be to make YouTube videos, TikTok videos, meditate, work out, eat right, put myself first read all these books I've been trying to read, finish them, and to begin monetizing this, my business, my brand, which is me. I've got ideas, but I also wanna do more research. By August, 
travel restrictions should be easing, hopefully. Something's got to change. Then Medellin. Medellin for six months. Practice Spanish. Get a, get a tutor. Take dance classes. Practice game. I just had the realization that they have Tinder over there and I would actually probably do well for a change. Which is, it's a nice idea, but also somewhat disappointing because, I don't know, I like, I like the work, I like the chase. Hmm. Yeah. But next two months, just gonna focus on me. Focusing on how to get out of this shit. tangent my as I was live yesterday Brooke from Big Mouth hardly ever messages me except when she's mad at me I didn't, I, or I miss an audition just uses her assistant for everything it's like she messaged me and says I got the SNL packet I think you would do really well. I think you should apply. You should consider applying. Strange. But I said send it over. Yeah, sounds interesting. Send it over. But it did, it did uh, peak a red flag for me. Very out of the blue. Hmm. Okay. I'm not interested in SNL. If you would have asked me two years ago, if she would have said that two years ago, I would have, would have cried, would have, would have jumped for joy. It's impossible to get on SNL. I have no name. And the name and brand that I'm building is not a, a strictly comedian, comedic one. And the more I'm able to teach people stuff and add value to their life and say, and hey, them say, thank you, thank you so much. I'm like, you changed my life. That's more fulfilling to me than laughter, even though I, I love to make people laugh. But that's the route I wanna go down on. And I don't wanna play it safe, or go on furlough, or do part-time. Hey, maybe, actually I won't, I won't diss, if I could do 20 hours a week, no Fridays, I wouldn't hate that. Maintain my benefits and all that shit. That doesn't sound that bad. This was a fun, interesting Raw Thoughts episode. Different. I feel different. Yeah. Alright. Peace.